Greetings! Today I've got a little gizmo gadget to take apart and what it is, it's, well, it's not a calculator as it may seem, it's a Barclays pin, pin sentry. Barclays is a bank in UK if you didn't know and pin sentry is the additional layer of security that they've implemented into their mobile banking and basically what this is, you're supposed to insert your debit card into it um, and that will generate, a, I think, an eight-digit code and you can enter it into online banking to log in to authorized transactions and everything else and whatnot. But I think they very quickly realized after introducing this that you can have it uh, on an app on a mobile phone. So yeah, those very quickly went out and basically you can have an app on your mobile phone that will do exactly the same thing. I don't know, maybe they still do those devices uh, standalone. Uh, but anyways, this one doesn't seem to be doing anything. We'll have a look of uh, maybe if we insert a card inside, it will do something. But um, I'm curious to see what's inside, whether there is any special security stuff or is it basically made just like a cheap calculator. So let's have a look. I've tried inserting something into it and it uh, does come up something. It's got a nice um, alphanumeric display, one, two times 16 characters. And yeah, if I insert just a piece of plastic, it says the card is not responding. So let's try to insert it with the chip. And that way this is not a debit card, it's a expired Virgin Media prepay SIM card. Um, and it comes up with a different message. Clearly the chip is um, giving some signs of life to the device. So it's asking for response sign or identify. Let's do identify and it says this card is not valid. Okay. So I've got another smart card. This is a Skybox um, smart card. Let's try this. Okay, it's talking to this as well. Let's try respond. Okay, this card is not accepted. Right. Okay, I have a expired prepaid debit card. Uh, it's uh, long expired, but anyways. Okay, it's talking to this as well. Let's try respond. This card is not valid. So clearly you've got to have a Barclays account. I haven't got one, so I won't be able to um, tell you what else this does, but we can definitely take it apart. So on the back, we've got one screw that's holding the battery compartment and it's got four batteries in here. Um, a76 little button cells and first thing uh, it's a really nice attention to detail from Barclays it's got a metal threaded insert in the plastic okay well done they were definitely hoping for longevity on this device but I think the device itself has not survived long enough on the market coming apart no it doesn't want to come apart so there is definitely something else holding this ah yeah maybe now oh, there is a screw underneath so I'm wondering whether those are specific to an account or whether they are just generic and they read off the card number and based on the card number they use some sort of algorithm to generate a, a code. Okay, we've got a card reader. And more screwy things. There is some circuitry visible over here already. And there we go. Uh, first this comes off. Then we've got the second part of plastic insert. And what we have here is a six megahertz 
crystal, a chip on board of unknown origin, a lot of test points, the battery connectors, obviously the, uh, the actual uh, chip reader and a switch. This basically detects the card when it goes all the way in and the card presses on the edge and pushes those two contacts together which basically tells the device the card is inserted. I think it's completely powered off without it. Is there a screw? Yes, there is. Now, it's a shame that the display itself is uh, one of those hotbar attachments. It's impossible to reuse this thing. Anything on the back? Nothing. So, we've got the LCD which is driven by this little chip on board over here and what appears to be a few passives, a voltage reg and a couple of transistors and that's about it. So oopsies, well that's a terribly boring teardown. I was hoping to see some high security stuff that's going to prevent you from poking into this maybe some sort of self-destruct things or at least some potting but now if you wanted uh, you could probe all the signals and maybe work out what is this doing that's if you wanted to and had time for it oh well a quick one this time uh, thank you very much for watching that's what you've got inside a Barclays pin sentry device hope you enjoyed this super quick teardown and take care.